Hey guys, in this video I'm going to review this power station from All Powers brand. This is almost 1.1 kilowatt hour capacity power station. I've got this with a 200 watts solar panel. In this video we'll do in-depth review for power station, we'll do capacity test, load test uh, and uh, we'll try to disassemble the station and also we will learn if it's possible to power 12 inch soar from this power station. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. On the front of the power station we have four AC outlets, then in the middle we have screen where we can see information how many hours left to run our power station with the current load, then we see percentage of uh, capacity left and then we see input and output wattage, this is combined volume. On the left and on the right we have two LED lights that can be activated separately and then we have three buttons to activate or deactivate AC output, DC and Bluetooth connection. Then on the left side for input side we have two ports 5521 where we can connect our car to charge this unit from a car or power wall adapter and then we have Anderson connector for solar panels. Also on the left side we have a DC output for cigarette lighter adapter. On the right side for this power station we have two 5521 outputs 12 volts and then we have three USBs A and USB-C connector. We can charge and discharge this station using USB-C connector as well. The specification for this unit uh, capacity is 1092 watt hours. Battery type is not specified here, but it's saying 3.7 volts. And I'm assuming this is lithium ion batteries. For this type of batteries, you can get about 1000 cycles or less, usually less. Then uh, for input ports, uh, we can charge this power station from any uh, DC power source 12 to 65 volts, 300 watts maximum. For solar, we can as well charge with the 300 watts. Additionally, we can charge this power station through USB-C. Uh, it's accepting all voltages from 5 to 20 volts with 5 amps. For output, we have four outlets and the combined uh, output is 1.5 kilowatts. Then for USB-A ports, uh, we can draw 2.4 amps and for USB-C port, we can draw 100 watts maximum. Now let's test USB ports. Right now I connected my laptop and uh, we drawing from uh, USB-C port 93 watts. For USB-A it's supporting up to 2.4 amps. So at 2.4 we got almost 4.9 volts. And from AC right now we're gonna draw about 1.5 kilowatts maximum for this power station. And output is 113 volts. And right here is a pure sign output 60 Hz. In the package with the power station, we're getting this adapter. Output is a 30 volts, 10 amps. So this is exactly 300 watts power adapter. And to fully charge this power station, it's gonna take about 3.5 hours. And uh, right here, power station fully disassembled. It's using 21700 cells, lithium ion. And uh, then here's all components for this power station. Right, and now let's try to set up this power station with a solar panel. So right here I'm gonna take uh, MC4 to Anderson connector. Let me shade one section of the panel and we will see how this is going to affect the output. So we're getting 130 and two sections. We still get 90 watts. So this is great to see. So this is for individual small solar panels. Even if two or three solar panels is going to be shaded, you will still get output from one of them. Let's review application for this power station. We can connect via Bluetooth. To activate Bluetooth, we have to long press on the left button. And then right here is application which is available on App Store. We have to follow steps to find and connect to power station. 
and then we have this screen where we can see information where is the percentage left basically duplication of our screen on the power station uh, and then we have separated input and output information and we can activate or deactivate ac dc and led lights by switching this toggle and on settings right here we can just rename our power station and uh, that's all about that now let's check if this power station is going to be able to power our saw right here four by six lumber let's try to cut this Yep, works fine. While using application, I noticed interesting problem with the charging. Right now we're charging with 300 watts power supply. And on the input side, you can see it's jumping somewhere from 260 to 286 watts. And uh, I have space heater attached to AC outlet. When I'm going to activate AC outlet, our input is dropping to 200 watts. So we're just getting about 60% of available charging speed. And sometimes this input is dropping to 100 watts, 50 watts, or even like disconnecting, like restarting. I'm not sure why, why it's happening, but um, uh, we cannot charge full speed this power station while we're using AC outlet. As soon as I am going to disable AC outlet, charging input is growing back to 286 watts. And now let's do capacity test. Power station charged to 100%. I'm going to attach 400 watts load. So test is going to take about two hours, two hours, 20 minutes. Let's come back later and uh, see results. And uh, here's a list of pros and cons after testing this power station. I will start with the cons. First is a lithium-ion batteries. For the same price, you can buy power stations with LFP batteries, where you can get, instead of 1,000 cycles, you can get 2,000 cycles. Number two is a slow charging. We can charge only with 300 watts, so it's gonna take about four hours to fully charge this power station. Number three is a noisy fans. Uh, this power station has four fans, and uh, when they're working, they're resonating with the case, so it's adding like extra noise. Number four is issues with the charging. Uh, we did see while using application that when we're charging this power station, it was um, reducing input to 200 watts by like 30%. And uh, sometimes it, it was even disconnecting this charging. So it definitely looks like it's a problem. I'm not sure if it's like faulty unit, if it's by design or what's happening there. And number five, related to solar panel. I don't see much protection around the corners and solar panels bending a lot. So we have to be really gentle while using this panel. On the other side, it's really lightweighted solar panel. For pros about this power station, I did like that it was able to handle 12 inch uh, solar. It's hard for power stations to handle these motors. Second item is uh, LED lights. I do like to see two lights right here. And number three is a well-built product. When you're holding this, it doesn't feel like cheap power station. And uh, that's all about this review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.